122 hours. What are you gonna do with those 122 hours? It's gonna be hot, let's go. All the quarterbacks, they know when they get off that plane and get to football heaven, that something is going to happen. Coach Dilfer likes to call it his shock and awe moment. So they're on the football field to start with. And I, you could just see him going, wait a second, why are we out doing footwork? Where, where's our big shock and awe? Then we have General Kearney, three-star general, approach them and say, okay, guys, here's what's going on. Well, first off, congratulations, guys, okay? But that's the last time I'm gonna tell you that you're doing great, you're wonderful, and all that, because once you become a leader, and once you're a leader on the field, you become a servant. So leadership really has two major components, competence, and then the other component of leadership is character. Okay, how many of you heard the old moniker that practice makes perfect? Well, I'm gonna tell you that practice makes permanent. Perfect practice makes perfect. Have fun, enjoy the time you're here. It's great to be with you. Mike, back to you. So here's what we got, all right? So from here, we got the next four hours or so. What we're calling the team red, white, and blue, team RWB, field general mission. Mission number one, take your 50 pound rucksack and run 1.8 miles in. It is a movement for time to go as quickly as you can. You're gonna go down this road right here, right down this trail, and you'll see it just keeps bending through the woods. The good news is, you'll have no sun. The bad news is, you got 50 pounds on your back, and you gotta be prepared for whatever might happen to you out there. Ready? Go! Jacob Eason, Saya DeWeaver, Shane Bouchelle, I mean, they take off. Jordan's like, no, wait, wait, let's pace ourselves. And Shane was the guy that said, nah, I don't need to pace, it's only two miles. We're crushing this. Growing up in a military family, my dad always told me about, you know, the rucksack and him having to run with it on. And, and I never believed him that was gonna be that hard. And so I got a lot of respect for him. My dad takes so much pride in the military and he's been in there 28 years. And you know, to pour my heart out there, running them two miles of the 50 pound backpack on my back, it just really feels like I'm giving back to him. So I'm really proud and I'm sure he's gonna be really proud also. It wasn't something that's gonna break you physically, but it's something that's gonna test you physically, but there's also a tactical part to it. One member goes down, you know, gets fake injured. Uh, and they have to carry that guy and somebody has to carry his rucksack. So now you've just added the weight of a 200 pound, 220 pound quarterback and the 50 pound rucksack that he was carrying. Go baby, go baby. Get ahead of him, get ahead of him. Oh! Hey, y'all got his legs? Yeah, come on, let's go. Really can't stop. If you stop, then you, you look weak and you don't want to look weak. Going against 17 other guys trying to get the same thing you want. I was super impressed with, with a bunch of the kids. Let's go guys! 50 meters to the end. No flinch, no complaining, no excuses. Let's, let's give everything we have right now to this process, then we'll deal with the rest later. Exactly what we're trying to get out of these young men. Wrap the best muscle and skill you got right here around the problem quickly, just like you're gonna do on the field, and go, let's come up with a solution, let's move out, let's do it together. Think and act.